So now that you've built your 1080B slider kit, or motorized kit, let's say you want to start doing some uh, different kind of shots where maybe you want your slide to move to one end, hit a little switch and actually move to the other end and hit another switch and just kind of basically ping pong back and forth. Or you want it to come to one end, actually hit a little switch, maybe that's linked into your camera where it takes a picture or starts a video or, or whatnot. We've got the capability to do that with our new little micro switch kit for the Igus uh, slider kit, the 1080 slider kit. So anyway, I'm going to show you how this goes together. Basically the kit will come with two micro switches, high quality micro switches, two Delrin plates, and of course your screws and your obviously your, your hardware here. So we're going to go ahead and assemble a little kit here. First thing you want to do, you can see your little Delrin plate. Take one of your little switches, run your little 256 screws, and these will actually screw right into the plastic like so. Run it right up in there. Don't tighten the first screw in very tight. You can kind of move it around a little bit. Line this other screw up. Now we can snug them up. Just like that. So now you have that end and we're going to actually mirror this same one on the other side. So we're going to go ahead and set that one down here for the motor driven in. Now we're going to mirror this one here just like so. Flip this over, put your screws in here. It's really cool. Putting mounting switches on is really cool just from the fact that now, um, now you can just build a really neat system that you can just leave, leave, leave alone, let this thing just go back and forth, back and forth, especially for time-lapse photography. Um, you can do all kinds of cool stuff. So we're going to go ahead and snug that up. So now we've got our two, excuse me, I need to flip that around, I'm sorry, I've, I held the base in the mirror way, but I actually didn't put the switch in the mirror the switch. So basically what you want to do is I had it where it was going to hit this guy, but you want it to actually come in like so. So actually it slides in this way and then hits the face. So, so I've known, now that I've shown you what not to do, See the correct way here. Alright. And put the last one in. Go through it. It's a cool thing about Delrin plastic is that you can screw into it, take screws out, put them back in, and it won't strip once it once it cuts the threads right in. So now, now we have basically exact mirrors of one another. So now we're going to go ahead and mount them to our slider. So let's go ahead and do the motor driven in. Let me flip this all the way around so I don't hit anything. You can see right here we have guides on either side. So basically if you wanted to run two of these switch kits, basically four switches in total or three or however many you want, you have one on this side, one on this side. So let's say this one is uh, when, you're, when, you're, when your slide comes up, it can hit this switch to tell it to go back the other way. Or it can come up and hit it and stop as well. If you just want it to go down, hit that switch, reverse, come back and hit this other switch and stop, you can do that. Have one switch here that tells, tells it which direction to go or to, to ping pong or pong back the other way. Or and you can also have another switch over here that might link to your camera to, to have some other functionality, whether it's to take a picture, to start the video, um, whatever you'd like to do. You could have one where it, the camera goes down the end, very end, hits, you know, ha there's two switches on one end. One, it hits one switch, tells it to come back, but it, the other one switches, turns the video on, so it comes back here. When it hits this one, it shuts the video off. So that way you can continually have video just streaming one way in a time-lapse uh, motion. So anyway, but let's, enough talk here. Let's go ahead and mount this switch. We're going to mount it in this slot right here. So what we want to do is grab one of our countersunk Phillips head screws right here. We're going to grab one of our little pillow blocks, you can, or not pillow blocks, but our little uh, attachment blocks that have 632 threads in them. We're going to screw that in here. And I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done here. How it's going to appear. So now you can see here, now that hole right there will line up with the center of this rectangular hole, so you can see right there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take, let's let me make sure I grab the right switch. This switch here, because this contact is going to face the face your slider, it's also the switch going to be at the bottom of this plate. So we're going to go ahead and slide that through, just like that. We can see that, okay? Now we're going to put a screw right through here, and it's going to hold that in place. It's going to be a socket head cap screw, like that. 
tighten that up. Actually go in and tighten that Phillips up a little bit more as well. There we go. So now you've got this switch in, just like so. So now what this is going to do, so hopefully I can run this all the way down. You can see here, it's going to come up. Oh my goodness, that's a low geared motor. There, it actually made contact. So you can see here, I don't know if you heard it click at all or not, but now it made contact. So obviously it will um, uh, trigger it to either stop, stop the motor or reverse the voltage, voltage. And we'll get into another video down the road to be able to show you exactly how to do that. So that's on this end. Now what we want to do is we'll actually want to put the other one on the same side, but on the opposite end down here. So let's go ahead and get this going here. Put our screw in here. Put our attachment block in. Like so. Here we go. And you can see here that hole is lined up with the middle of that rectangular slit. Now we're going to go ahead and slide our switch mount through like so. Put our screw in. Just like so. Just like that. Now you have easy um, access to your contacts right here. Keeps that in place. Won't wiggle around. Nor will it break off. The Delrin is extremely stout. Now we can slide this, whoop, we can slide this all the way down. So when you're back driving a motor like that, it sure makes a lot of noise. But, so now you're going to be able to, boom, you can hear it make contact right there. Shut the system down, you can hear it click. So there you go. That is our new little switch kit um, designed for the IGUS slider, motorized slider system. Once again, you can put you know, multiples on it, you know, two kits. You could have four switches total, um, but um, really two is all you need in order to build a system that will make your slider ping pong back and forth. So there you go. If you have any questions, just send us an email.